According to NIH, an allergy is your body's response to substances that aren't harmful to most people. My name is Iris Gupta, and I've come up with an idea to see if allergies can be mitigated using nanoparticles. But first, let's see how allergies are caused. When allergens enter your body, they go and bind into a specific type of antibody called IgE. This makes the mast cells release a certain chemical called histamine, which causes the allergic symptoms. Many people take antihistamines to relieve the allergic symptoms, but in my idea, I wanted to stop allergies at its source. I hypothesized that nanoparticles could be inhaled or injected into the body. Here is my idea of what might happen. Before allergy season, these nanoparticles could be inhaled or injected into the body, and they would go and bind onto these IgE antibodies. That way, when the allergens enter the body, they won't be able to. To test my idea, I did theoretical experiments. I used a mathematical approach where I tried to estimate the right size of the nanoparticles needed to be injected into the body using calculations. To test my hypothesis, I tested three different nanoparticle sizes, 2 nanometers, 20 nanometers, and 200. I also used a binding kinetics equation. Results showed that as the size of nanoparticles increased, then the complex formation decreased. I found that the best nanoparticle size is 20 nanometers because it would cause the most complex formations. This is the first in a series of experiments that could be possible inspired by this idea. In the end, I want to say that the idea of mitigating allergies using nanoparticles will be beneficial to all allergy sufferers. Nanoparticles are inexpensive and easily accessible. Thank you.